Introduction. It's been a treat for many years. Camp Lloyd, how many years have you been here now, Michael? One year. One year. He's, he's a very quick learner. Thank you, Michael. It's been a long year. I've only been telling jokes for one year, too. And I'm not going to dance, by the way, too. Because I, I think if I did, I think we give God too much credit for uh, you know, things he gave us, because I'd get up here and I'm like, God gave me this dance. <laughs> he gave it to me. <laughs> and then I do the dance. I think maybe you ought to give it back. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> All right, well, when I was flying out here uh, this week, I uh, went on the uh, airplane ride. And as I was walking through one of the airports, I noticed there's a luggage store. A luggage store in an airport. <laughs> I'm looking around, I think everybody's good on luggage. I've never seen a guy walking around with an armful of clothes. <laughs> and I wish he had some kind of container. <laughs> some kind of zipper on the pulley. Don't, don't know if they make those yet. <laughs> but uh, I've been to... <laughs> Probably thinking, oh, I'm writing a book. <laughs> Things I don't care about. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> Anyways, I've been to some uh, nice churches. I've been. Hello. I've been to some uh, good churches, some interesting ones too. And uh, I've noticed our church has a, uh, a church code. You know, like servant's heart. You know, they always come. Mike. You've got a servant's heart. You have got a servant's heart. See, I hate it when people tell me I got a servant's heart. It means go start stacking chairs. Yeah. You're a loser. Go. Yeah. I can't believe I had to have cheater notes. Uh, hello. Are you awake back there? <laughs> I noticed with some people, you know, they, uh, they're they afraid to say everything about their church. Like they'll say, uh, oh, I love it there. The music's good there. Well, that means that the preaching stinks. <laughs> yeah, you get where I'm going with this, don't you? Then you say, oh, I love, I, I love the preaching there. Well, you hear the music. Well, then it's, oh, I love it there. I do I want to be. Nobody judges me. <laughs> You're in a bar. <laughs> and then have you heard the, uh, the hedge of protection? You know, Mike, we're praying for a hedge of protection for you. That's right. A hedge. Right of you and your whole family. <laughs> a hedge, huh? Well, not to complain, but uh, is that the best you can do? <laughs> I mean, how about a concrete wall with some razor wire around that? <laughs> a pair of clippers can get right through those. <laughs> you think the devil's going, what is this greenery? I can't get through that. Oh, and then, uh, bless, bless this food and the hands that have prepared this. The hands. I'm kind of like, I got the whole body. No. Just the hands. <laughs> oh, and then you you know you you do prayers, you know, and you, there's somebody new and they're they get really nervous, they're like they they say just a lot, you know, just just bother me, just 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 bother me. Just 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 occasionally just, just just this Lord we just just, just, like, you're like, just finish the prayer. I just don't think you're ready for this. Go start stacking chairs. Just come, come back next week, we'll try it again. And another guy who even said, Father, you know, Father, Father, we just come to you, Father, Father, we just love it, Father, Father. And then, Father. I'm John, I'm playing to the punchline there. Okay, we'll skip that. But... <laughs> Maybe I should go start stacking chairs. <laughs> you know, and then we get these weird songs growing up, you know, like, 
rock or hush. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Does that just freak anybody out? <laughs> the baby's in a tree. We call Child Protective Services here. How's the rest of that go? When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down the baby. Cradle in the hall. I mean, they're just weird. I mean, you know, they're just weird for the day we've been born. Kind of like how you dressed this morning, you know. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, hello. Then you get the one where it's like, uh, how's it go? Might need to help me along here a little bit. It's a uh, Hush, little baby, don't you see? Mom's gonna buy you a mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight here. If I shut up, I get a bird. <laughs> Just wanna make sure. And how's the rest? Of, how's the rest of that go? You know, uh, if that mockingbird don't sing, Mom's gonna buy you a diamond ring. <laughs> So if I kill the bird, I get bling bling. <laughs> I can do that right now. And then have some battle looking glass, and then the last part is if or if that if that diamond ring don't shine, something about a looking glass, right? <laughs> okay, and then some, Mama's gonna buy you a Billy Go. <laughs> So we're in Kentucky now. So. And my mom was always good at giving good advice too late. Think about that. Good advice too late. You know, it's like one time I hit my head on the table. It's like, careful. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were there, mom. Who knows what would have happened if you were <laughs> And then also, if I go driving off somewhere, she's like, you know, she says all these obvious things. It's like, yeah, I know that, Mom. It's like, when you drive careful, if you get hungry, stop and get something to eat. <laughs> oh, wait, let me take this down, Mom. These are, these are real words of wisdom. <laughs> and I'm driving down the road, you know. <sighs> Can you get that out the notebook? What was I supposed to do? Was it change a tire? And then I was over at a friend's house one time and he's like, Hey Mike, pick up that prank and throw it at my head. But don't tell me when you throw it. I'll listen for the whiz. It's called dodgeball. It's great. But don't tell me when you throw it. Okay. It wasn't until that brick left my hand I knew this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I 
shook his hand. <laughs> My parents would always read or pray to us at, at night in the dark. I wonder if we're so scared of the dark. <laughs> you know, so, now I'm down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> so to see you in the morning, maybe. I don't know. 50 50. <laughs> well, don't put the bed books by. <laughs>